I'd already known Singapore, I'd built here, but Marina Bay was a new game, kind of reinventing a building type. But none of us ever knew that it would work out the way it did. None of us even dreamt that it would become like instantly a world, particularly Asian, icon. Sky Park has been called the ship. It's been called the skateboard, sort of floating up there. It's sort of magical, it defies gravity. Early in the morning, you're in the water and you're just seeing the tower tops and they're all lit and they're all reflecting and it's mysterious. And then as you start the swim, slowly the sky gets lighter. And since the sun rises east on the other side, the clouds above downtown start turning pink. It's just totally transforming all the time. You're in nature here. I mean, you're, you know, you look one way and you see Indonesia. You look the other way, you see Malaysia. This whole complex was designed and built in four years. Unprecedented, 10 million square feet in four years. Now that I come back, of course, I'm coming back as an observer and, you know, it takes on its own life. What pleases me is that as an architect, you always learn from what you do and you go on. That's why I think architecture is in part invention and in part evolution. And anybody who forgets that can't make great architecture. If you forget evolution, you forget that architecture builds upon and builds upon the lessons of what happened before. Invention is what you add to it, but it's the two that make a great building. You can be impressed by a building, you can be in awe by a building, but when people say to me, this is a happy place, I think that's when you have the greatest reward as an architect.